What's up guys, in this vlog I'm going to talk entirely about my evolution as a basketball player. So I've made an evolution of my dunking knowledge video that I'll link right here. But this video is going to be, my, be about my evolution as a basketball player overall. I'm going to use these note cards to draw pictures and diagrams about um, how, what, how I'm describing that certain point in my evolution as a basketball player. So, let's start at ground zero. I first started playing when I was about maybe like 10 years old. I was probably like, I don't know, maybe like, I was taller than my peers. I don't know how tall I was, but I was taller than my peers. Maybe I was like 5'8 or something. I don't really remember. But I just remember being taller and faster than most of my peers. And I remember I would just run from hoop to hoop and I would run faster than other people. And once I got there, I would be able to go higher than other people. So that's why I was initially good at basketball. But I don't remember anything else than just making basic layups and then running back the other way, you know, make, playing defense, running back this way, playing defense. That's really all I remember. So this is when I'm about 10 years old. I'm just playing in like recreational leagues in my town. So that's me showing that I'm taller and generally faster than most of my peers. So that's why I was good at first. I'm going to put that one right here. All right, so then I pretty much went into middle school, where we, which is like maybe like 12 to maybe like 11, 12, 13, 14. And this is where I first started playing organized basketball. So I was playing on a travel team. And because I was one of the taller players, they put us in you know, a half court offense and I was taller, so I played down low. I remember, you know, not really getting in the flow of the offense. I would try to post up. I would get the ball in the post. I would do one up and under post move and I would either score or I would miss. And then other than that, I wouldn't really get the ball too much. I would make some plays here and there, but it was very structured. But at that point in my career and the careers of my peers, we didn't know how to play a structured game. So it kind of didn't really work for us. So it was kind of a shit show. It was good. It was enjoy, you know, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't really good basketball, but it was a good learning process because you have to kind of go through those tough years to really learn about the game. So yeah, there I wasn't really much of a scorer. I was a post guy, a rebounder, a defensive player a little bit, but I still wasn't that athletic. I hadn't lifted any weights yet. I was still just like a 13 year old kid that just showed up. I didn't really do any training at all. So this is me being forced to play in the post when I didn't really want to and that's someone trying to defend me and my back's to the basket showing that I'm in the post. I'm playing when I'm like 13 years old and it just, it's forcing something that's not there. But it was a good learning process. Next I'm 14 years old, 15 years old. I'm in my freshman year in high school and the other good players on my team got picked up onto junior varsity when I was a freshman, but I got state, I got left down onto the freshman team. And the freshman team was just a gobbledygook of any players that they would pretty much take. Pretty much, I think everyone makes the freshman team. So there was a lot of people that weren't necessarily good basketball players on the freshman team. So I was by far the best player. And I remember in the games, my teammates would acknowledge that and they would just tell me, that they're like, Nick, go score. And we really had no set offense. We would just go out there and just do craziness. And I remember that was the first time that I was really free and I really had the support of like real teammates to say like, you're our best player, just go score. And I remember just loving it. I would just take the ball, I would slash, I would make plays, I would kind of lead our team. And uh, it was when I first really became like a real scorer and realized that I had some like real skills and that I could really do this on like a real team and not just not just at the YMCA or in pickup. So that was when I first really broke in to realize that I was like a good player and that I had skills above most of my peers. And that I was like just a scorer, not just like a rebounder or a post player, like I'm a scorer. Give me the ball anywhere on the floor, give it to me on the wing, I'm gonna make some plays. This is a picture of me, first person view toward the hoop my freshman year. I pretty much thought, zigzag your way, go by the whole defense, make a play, this is your team. And I really loved playing that way and I really grew as a player when I had the freedom to do that. All right, next I'm pretty much a sophomore and junior in high school. Um, these years I did get brought on to varsity, but I was injured pretty much both years. I tore my meniscus, which is cartilage, 
in your knee. I tore it in football and it never really healed and I had a couple surgeries during my you know, sophomore and junior years of high school and I didn't really play a whole lot. Um, I would practice here and there. They could tell I was a good player. They wanted to keep me, but I just didn't play that much because of injuries. When I did play, I played pretty well, but I just didn't have enough experience to really be a great player yet. Um, so that was kind of a difficult time. I remember I, I videotaped all of our games with the video camera because I was injured. So you could say that that was the first basketball videos that I ever created. Um, even though I didn't really like doing that, obviously I wanted to play. But So that was a tough time for me, but I always had the fire burning inside me that I wanted to play, so I never gave up on it. So this is me filming up in the top of the um, seats at the basketball games. There's the camera. There's the brace on my knee showing that I have a hurt knee at this time. And I just remember sitting up there and just filming these games and trying to make it fun, but just being pissed that I couldn't play. So that was a tough couple of years. All right, next is my senior year of high school. This is where um, they made me a captain. So they did know that I was a good player and they always make you know the best seniors captain. So I was kind of a shoe in for that. And um, I was healthy my senior year and I basically just had a great senior year. I got in excellent shape. So my conditioning was immaculate. Like I could run all over the court. I had lifted a little bit, so I was a little bit stronger. I was in really good physical shape, it was great. But I didn't train skills pretty much at all. So my senior year of high school, I didn't train skills at all. I had never done really any dribbling, I'd never done any shooting. I pretty much just done athleticism, that's it. And when I came in, I was great at defense, I was great at being a leader, I was great at conditioning, all that good stuff. But I didn't score that much, I would maybe score 10 or 12 points a game. And most of it would just be layups and stuff. So. We had a great season. Um, we ended up going to the state semifinals. I had several, you know, game-winning. Uh, in one game, I had a game-winning free throw. In another game, I had a game-winning putback. One of them was in the playoffs. So it was just like a magical ride. We almost won, you know, state championship. We played in the semifinals. We played in the Boston Garden, which is where the Celtics play. It was an amazing season. Um, but you know, it was over. And then it was on to the next thing. This is a picture of me playing defense, and you can kind of see the muscles and see the defensive stance I am in and the, the face. I was amazing at defense, had really no handles, no shooting. I could make some layups, but that was pretty much it. But it was fun, and I loved it, and we were pretty successful. All right, next, I pretty much went into college. And this is a time where I was kind of learning about myself, trying to make friends, trying to stop being a weirdo, you know, trying to gain more confidence, just trying to like figure out life, you know, at the beginning of college. And uh, I didn't, I didn't really work out at all. I, um, I definitely played a lot of basketball, but I wasn't really training for skills yet. I was just having fun with my friends. So I was still playing very well, still playing, you know, competitive basketball, but I wasn't really training my body or training my mind or anything like that. And then at around my um, sophomore or junior year, I started to lift a little more. So at this point, I'm lifting a little more. I'm still playing a lot of basketball. I get injured here and there, but I'm pretty much okay. Um, but I'm really not doing too much. So pretty much for about three years, my freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year of college, I just kind of had fun enjoyed playing hoops, but never took any part of it seriously, never really lifted that seriously, never really trained that seriously, and never really took uh, my mental aspect of the, of the game that seriously. All right, so this is a picture of me at college. These are the towers, because at University of Massachusetts Amherst, there are these towers that you stay in when you're like a freshman. This is a Bud Light, because I would drink a lot then, I would drink a lot then and party a lot and just kind of be the party guy. This is me just kind of hanging out, shooting a meaningless shot with no direction or purpose or anything. And this is the sun because we would just play outside and, and uh, excuse me, we would play outside and enjoy ourselves. Then during my senior year, I kind of just was sick of like just being mediocre and I was just getting bored of it and things weren't going the way I wanted. I wasn't happy. So I started basketball training. Um, I, had our, I had my intramural team. And the intramurals at UMass were very fierce and very competitive, so I really, really started to try at those. 
Um, I remember just looking up like Dre Baldwin videos. Shout out to Dre Baldwin, huge inspiration for me when I was younger. I copied a lot of the stuff he did for my own basketball channel. But that's a separate topic. But I would watch his dribbling videos and I would just go and start practicing them. And then I just got obsessed with it and I started uh, finally training handles. And I saw my dribbling dr dramatically increase and then I slowly started to um, work on my shooting a little bit. And we actually ended up winning my intramural championship my senior year with a bunch of my friends on the team. So it was really fun. And it was really a goal that I'd, I'd always had because the intramurals were so competitive at the school because it was a giant school. So um, that was kind of the pinnacle of my basketball career. Um, at that time, I had brought everything together and I'd finally become like a all-around basketball player. Um, so that was a great achievement. All right, so this is me uh, watching the Dre Baldwin videos on my cell phone and really saying that's interesting. This is me practicing, doing dribbling drills, and then this is me um, winning the intramural championship at UMass. Those are my teammates, and this is the team that we beat. It was a major goal that we had for a while, and I certainly worked hard for it, and it uh, ended up paying off. And it showed me that if you put your mind to something, if you work hard towards it, and you visualize it, it will happen. So then once I did the intramural championship and all that stuff, I, uh, I was kind of like, what's next? And my friend asked me to dunk with him because he had seen that I was close to dunking, so I said, fine. So we went to the court and tried dunking, and lo and behold, I did a bunch of dunks, and I'll link my first dunk video right here, which I've shown a couple times. But we made this video, and then I realized I could dunk, and then I started dunk training for months. My dunks increased and increased, and then I eventually started Nick Edson basketball. And I was doing dunking, and I continued to do dribbling exercises, and con con continued to do shooting exercises, all kinds of basketball videos. I started to get more and more into personal development and I created Nick Edson basketball. So that kind of took off and you know, since then I've just been playing in men's leagues, playing at pickup games, trying to just make myself the best player I can because I enjoy training, I enjoy showing other people how they can train, I enjoy showing people how they can improve, I enjoy making videos, I enjoy dunking, I enjoy playing. Um, and that's pretty much what I've been doing for the past, you know, now I'm 26, almost 27, I've been doing that since about 22, 23. Um, just trying to you know build my brand, trying to build my skills, trying to help other people and just enjoy the game as much as possible. And um, really since then I've realized that you know shooting is an art form and the more you understand about shooting, the better shooter you'll be, the more practice you put in with proper form and the better shooter you'll be. Dribbling, you know I understand that it's just about putting in the grunt work and practicing dribbling and um, and then, you know, staying healthy, obviously, I realize that lifting weights, power lifting is really going to fortify your body and make you as athletic as possible. And, you know, lifting in your upper body, having proper nutrition, just being healthy overall, being mentally healthy, reading, doing all these um, kind of things that you, that I realized when I was, you know, in my mid-20s were very important. And now that's just my lifestyle. It's just things I love to do. And uh, it's, you know, I've kind of grown from all the different spots in my journey, in my basketball and my life journey. And now I'm kind of at a point where I kind of have all of the ideas and it's just a matter of mastering them and kind of spreading them and showing other people, you know, how they can do these things and how they can improve their lives, whether it's sports, basketball, personal development, what have you, all things that I've been interested in. So that's my journey. So this is me uh, dunking a basketball. I'm clearly doing a tomahawk, and I have my NEB shirt uh, showing that you know I learned to dunk. I made these crazy videos that I'm still making, and I started NEB, and I did a ton of um, you know other exercises as part of NEB. And this uh, this is a very fun time in my basketball career that's still going on, and I love it. All right, so just to recap. We started when I was just in about, you know, fourth grade. I was faster and taller than everyone else, so I was pretty good. And then in middle school, I was forced into the post. Those were kind of the dark years, but I learned a lot about basketball. And then my freshman year of high school, 
was kind of when they let me do whatever I want. So I was zigzagging through the whole team. I was scoring. I was kind of the best player. And I kind of learned that, you know, I was a good basketball player. This is uh, my sophomore, junior year of high school where I was injured. I would just sit up and film the games. And, uh, you know, my knee sucked, but I very much enjoyed. I still enjoyed playing, and I still tried to play as much as possible. This is my senior year when I was amazing at defense. My team was really good, and I just had a great year. I was very athletic, and uh, things were just fun. This is uh, my freshman, sophomore, junior of college where I had fun playing basketball, but I never really took it seriously. I drank a lot, and I partied at UMass, and, you know, we just hung out. Then this is my senior year of basketball where I started to you know watch basketball videos online i started to practice train my skills and then you know my team won the intramural championship which which was very important to me at the time and then this is after college senior year after college where i learned to dunk i started to get some basketball i trained a lot more and that's pretty much what i've been doing for the past few years and i've been loving it all right thank you for watching this video i hope it helped i appreciate it if you want to um, interact with me more i recently started a new website where i'm having um, coaching clients I call it a relationship so if you want to build a relationship with me whether that's texting whether that's on email um, whatsapp all different kinds of mediums um, and if you want to talk about anything as far as basketball personal development if you just want to tell me your thoughts about your life about your girlfriend about your family whatever the case may be if you want some sort of therapy um, I want to build a relationship with people I want to help others because I've seen tremendous growth in myself and um, I just I just like helping others. It's interesting to me. So if you want to set that up, click on the card to the upper right of the screen. You can go to my website, and you can um, fill out a form, and it'll just give me some information about you, and uh, we can pot potentially set up a relationship online or potentially in person. So thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.